Today, I, Arabrinda, is going to represent my house, this Gandhi house. As the session is going to end, we want to dedicate our gratitude towards our respected teachers. Teachers help us to understand in an easy way by becoming our special friends. Here's my God made teachers. When God made teachers, He gave us special friends to help us understand His word and truly comprehend the beauty and the wonder of everything we see and become a better person with every discovery. Why God created teachers? He gave us special guides to show us ways in which to grow so we can all decide how to live and how to do what's right instead of wrong to lead us so that we can lead and learn how to be strong. Why God created teachers in His wisdom and His grace was to help us learn to make our world a better, wiser place. In ancient India, nearly 5,000 years ago, there lived a young Nishada, that is, a tribe of hunters, Ekalavya. Even though he was a hunter by birth, being the son of chief hunters in the forest of Hastinapur, he aspired to become a great archer and a brave warrior. He expressed his desire to his father. Father! I want to be an archer and become the disciple of the great Guru Dronacharya. His father remained silent. I know, father, we are Sudras, but the caste cannot be the barrier to knowledge. His father was a kind man. He gave his blessings and sent his son on the way. Ekalavya went to Dronacharya and folded his hands in greetings and bowed down low to touch the sage's feet. Dronacharya was surprised to see a stranger. Who are you? Oh Guru, I am Ekalavya, the son of the chief of the Nishada. Please accept me as your humble disciple and teach me the art of archery and signs of warfare. Ekalavya, if you are Nishda, that means Sudra, so you are so you are the lowest caste in the kingdom. I cannot teach you. The Pandavas and the Kauravas were watching the exchange. Arjun spoke up. Guru Dronacharya is royal teacher appointed by the king to train us. Yes, I, Yudhishthir, and other Pandavas, the prince of the kingdom, are his students. I, the eldest Kaurava, am demanding. How dare you accept to be taught by him? Leave Gurukul now! 
Clavia was surprised by the behavior of the supreme caste of the kingdom. He quietly left the Gurkul. It's not fair. God has given knowledge to all. Then why this discrimination? I will surely practice the art of archery. Ekalavya made a statue of Guru Dronacharya and started his practicing. Thus, though his guru had shunned him, he held him high in esteem, worshipped the statue of Dronacharya and started the practice. In time, faith, courage and preservance transformed Ekalavya, the mere tribal hunter, into Ekalavya, the extraordinary archer. One day, while Ekalavya was practicing, he heard a dog barking. Before the dog could shut up or get out of the way, Ekalavya fired seven arrows in rapid succession to fill the dog's mouth without injuring it. Dronacharya and his disciples saw the dog and they were amazed to see such a feat of archery. Your aim is truly remarkable. From whom did you learn archery? From you, my master. You are my guru. What are you saying? How can Guru Dronacharya be your guru? He would never teach a low caste boy like you. We all know that he refused you in front of us. Absolutely, you shameless boy. How can you call him your guru? Your guru? How can I be your guru? I have never seen you before. Guru Dev, is this the same hunter boy who came to our guru cool some months back? Yes, you are right. Guru Dronacharya, after I left your Gurukul, I made your statue and practiced before that statue. You refused to teach me, but your statue did not. But Guru Dronacharya, you, you, you promised that you will make Arjun the best archer in the world. Now, how can that be? Now, a common hunter has become better than me. Unable to answer Arjuna's question, Drona remained silent. The sage was too upset about his promise to Prince Arjuna was not going to be fulfilled. And he was also angry with Ekalavya for disobeying him. So the sage planned to punish Ekalavya. Where is your Guru Dakshina? You have to give me a gift for your training. Guru Dronacharya, I'd be the happiest person on the earth to serve you. Ask me anything and I'll offer it to you as my Guru Dakshina. I might ask something you don't like to give me. What if you refuse to the Dakshina I want? No, how can I teach you? I'm not that ungrateful. I never refuse anything you ask. Love you. I, I sit to have your right hand thumb as my Guru Dakshina. Okay, Guru Dev, as you wish. Then, without the slightest hesitation, Ekalavya drew out his knife and cut his thumb. Here is my Gurudev. Guru I am happy that you have made me your disciple, even if I am a mere Shudra hunter. Ekalavya, even without your thumb, you will be known as a great archer. I bless you that you will remember forever for your 
loyalty to your guru. True to Dronacharya's blessing, Ekalavya is still praised as the most loyal and bravest student in the epic of Mahabharata. Thank you. Thank you, teachers. Teachers, teachers, see the good inside me. Take my hand and guide me your way. Teachers, when you see me giving up, you help me to stand up your again. So thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you do. I have been molded by your hands. So thank you. Thank you. Teachers, we still young ones, but we won't be young ones for long. Teacher, take me and define me when you are beside me. I am strong. When I grow older and wiser, I remember you. Promise. I grow stronger at the thought of you. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for all you do. I have been molded by your hands. So thank you. Thank you. I have been molded by your hands. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, where is ma'am? Oh, ma'am is freezed. This is a good thing. Let's play. Then I will play with my sword. I will play cricket. No, no. Let's not play. We all must go, right? Don't we? So today we will share why we miss school. Teacher smile and laugh on my face, waving to them on the hallway. I miss the cheers when the teachers said no homework and the groans when a test is mentioned. I miss the wisdom and quotes that a teacher shares to inspire us in different ways and pushes us out of our comfort zone. I love all the missives. That we all laugh and teachers frustrated. During these unprecedented times, many many changes have been made, and uh, we appreciate the time and effort you put into your work and help us flourish. Never clap for them from our balconies. Didn't we ever light a candle for the service? Unlocking patience during the long term. Thank you for instilling hope that everything is possible. Attempting different ways to deliver lessons. Reaching out to us, inspiring hard work. They are the unsung heroes. Today, ma'am, as we are on the verge to complete this session, a big salute to all the teachers who have made it possible. Thank you. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you have the time of your life So 
I'll take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoo some memories and dance can I try For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you have the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you have the time of your life. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you have the time of your life.